I'm Barry Chandler, co-founder of StoryForge. Welcome to today's video. I've been reading this book, Simply Brilliant, by uh, William Taylor, co-founder of Fast Company magazine, and it has had a really profound impact on how I think about what would be considered pretty ordinary businesses or businesses that don't do anything extraordinary on the surface. And I've bought a copy of this for all of my clients, and I've been sending them this book, and some of them have come back with great insights on how they can apply it to their business. But what, I, what this book is about is how great organizations do ordinary things in extraordinary ways. And this can apply to every type of business. And there's a passage in it that particularly stood out that I wanted to read for you today to share with you some of our thoughts and some of our beliefs on business that completely align with, with how, how Bill Taylor thinks about business. And it's this passage here. Uh, and we've spoken about commodity uh, brands in this video before. We've spoken about how we don't want to be a commodity. We don't want to race to the bottom in terms of price. But this particular passage is, is particularly uh, prescient. Uh, Nobody is opposed to a good deal, a dollars and cents value proposition that makes sense. But what we remember, what we appreciate, and what we prize are gestures of concern and compassion that introduce a touch of humanity into the all too bloodless calculations that define so much of modern life. In a world being reshaped by technology, what so many of us crave, what truly stand out, are small gestures of kindness that remind us of what it means to be human. Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with love. And it really reminds me of the retail industry right now. This retail industry that was built on service. I mean, 100 years ago, there were men in suits and women in, in dresses, and they had gloves on, and they would serve you and take care of you and attend to your every need. And when I look at the way the retail industry has gone today, it's been commoditized, and it's had downward pressure from the likes of Amazon and changing demographics, and the Walmarts of the world have really affected how retail can respond. But what's been lost in much of this uh, change is the humanity, the service the one-on-one -on -one exchanges, the little gestures that change everything about my perception, my experience, and why I go back again and again. There are some shining lights in the retail world like REI, like Nordstrom, who still focus on the humanity of the business. So my question really for you today is, what is it that we could focus on more in our business to add more gestures of humanity, of kindness? Because we don't want to just you know, move product, we want to move people. And how are we going to move people? Well, we'll do that one gesture, one initiative at a time that adds some humanity back into a world that is increasingly driven by technology and disconnection and isolation. So if we could think about one thing today, it's how do we add a little bit of more humanity and a little less isolation to what we sell, what we, what we provide, what we produce. I think it'll change everything in our businesses. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want a business that is more valuable because it is more meaningful to your customers, your employees, and all of your stakeholders, then be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the button below.